this time naman, uh, kung yung, yung nakarang episode ay gift of knowledge, ito naman is pamasko at kabuhayan. So sa mga installer ng decorative concrete na gusto ng ibang bansa at ipakita ang galing bilang decorative concrete installer, pakinggan ninyo ang video ito kasama ang aking partner na si Chris Oliver, isang mabuting kaibigan at mentor na kapartner ko ngayon sa aming kumpanyang Decorative Concrete Training Services. You can also get to know more about it through our website www.learndecofit.com Yan, so mahingan natin si Chris at para lalo niyo maintindihan ang opportunity ng pangkabuhayan at mga kabaw sa ibang bansa. So oh, ayan, let's Should move on and thank you Sir John for the very import- informative uh, talk with Sir John. So let's move on to Sir Chris Sullivan. Okay. Yeah. He is a he, he is the Vice President of Sales of Phoenix Group, Director and Past President of Decorative Concrete Council ASC, and a National Sales Manager of QC Construction Products. Also, the technical sales representative of Bayer Corporation and a technical consultant of Bomanite International. So, let's welcome Sir Chris Sullivan. Okay, let's give a round of applause from Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you? Hello, how are you? Good, good. What time is it there? Where are you now? I am in Denver, Colorado. It's a little after 4 a.m. in the morning. Oh, shit. Sorry to wake you up at this <laughs> early stage. So we're having no. alcohol here. I think you're having right. coffee. Yes, I'm not drinking alcohol yet. Okay, cheers. Maybe I need to. Okay, no, no. You, you get to go back to sleep. So we, we need you to discuss an important topic. No, A, a while ago, I, 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 I've been helping John with translating in Filipino. Or Tagalog, or maybe a bit of uh, a bit of mix of both. So we have people from Vietnam, Indonesia listening here in the decorative right. Asia community. So I- I'm very happy that you you took the time to wake up early. Or although I think it's your normal waking time, is that correct? I'm gonna say it's not very different from when I usually wake up. So okay. uh, I'm a morning person, so this is not a big deal, and I'm excited to be here. Yeah. Okay. Again, before I let uh, give Chris the table, I'd like again to just highlight the. A very good deed that uh, Chris did uh, like uh, two months ago, right, Chris? A uh, month? Two months ago, yep. Two months ago. So he just uh, gave uh, a, a very generous gift, no? a, a gift of uh, a part of himself, literally a part of himself, donating one of his kidney to not his immediate family, but one of his. Uh, perfect stranger. Yeah, yeah, a perfect stranger, a donor, or no, not a donor, like a, a recipient. recipient. Yeah, so. Uh, let's all give a round of applause for uh, Chris Sullivan's generosity. Yeah, I applaud him. Uh, it's really like the most I can give maybe blood, but you know, <laughs> kidney is something really different. It's a big sacrifice, and uh, with all the negative news happening, uh, I mean, uh, hearing that you're a big positive news that I've heard uh, this 2000, 2020. Thank you, Chris. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, okay. I appreciate it. Thank you very much something okay, I've been so- passionate about for a while and it actually was not as uh, as involved or as big a deal um, in terms of the whole process but um, well once again thank you okay so you have the floor Chris again uh, thank you for joining us so Chris will have an important news that uh, we, he would like to share how we have worked together uh, he has been one of my mentors uh, for the last uh, few years he has helped me uh, become an accredited uh, dec- uh, ACI examiner uh, for decorative concrete. I-, I took the examination as an installer last year and uh, I did a follow-up training uh, last January right before the lockdown and uh, even during the pandemic I actually de- uh, through, the- through Chris help and endorsement uh, I became an accredited uh, ACI decorative concrete examiner. Again thanks for that Chris. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, it's been my pleasure and honor to work with you, Ronnie, as well as John and everyone in uh, the Bowmanite organization, uh, both here in North America as well as worldwide. So um, it's been fantastic and built lifelong friendships and um, working relationships around the world. So it, it's been my honor. And uh, so thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. So the Good. floor is yours. So, so yeah, I am. Yeah. 
I am excited to uh, announce uh, the partnership that Ronnie and I have developed to create something that we have been talking about for a while, and that is Decorative Concrete Training Services, uh, also known as DCTS. So DCTS is really nothing more than a um, service where we find and send world-class decorative concrete experts directly to you. And to you, we mean um, anybody who is doing any type of a project. So that would be uh, whether you need somebody to actually work on the job, you need a consultant to manage at the uh, planning stage, uh, or you need an entire workforce to, uh, to, to be on a job for a long period of time. Um, so we target and work with installation companies, general contractors, architects, engineers. Um, we utilize our resources and our network from um, experts from around the world, and we put them in touch with you. Uh, so that you get not only um, the top uh, expertise in a particular market, but you have the comfort level that you've got myself and Ronnie and the entire uh, DCTS um, support staff making sure that you're going to get uh, exactly what you're looking for. You can switch to the next slide. Yes, so this is an example of a project. Uh, this was a training that uh, was done um, some years ago in um, uh, the Philippines. Um, this is Lapu City, right, Ronnie? Down Cebu, in, um, Cebu City, yeah. Cebu City, yeah, thank you. Uh, and uh, so we worked with uh, Brian Farnsworth, myself, and, and Ronnie, and we did training on about three or four day training over multiple different systems. So uh, just an example, it's not just showing up and giving a presentation, even though that's part of what we do. Uh, this is actually hands-on. So this is one piece of what we offer. And that would be if you would like to have your crews, um, your particular staff people that you're working with trained on a particular product, we can do a demonstration, we can do actual installation, but um, the training and education part, the hands-on is a big part of what we offer. So these programs usually run anywhere from seven to uh, 14 days in length. Next. Another example, so this was uh, about a little more than a year ago uh, in uh, Phu Quoc in Vietnam. It's a fantastic trip and an opportunity. Um, so this was once again, um, Ronnie and myself uh, working with uh, BIM group. I'm training them on different finishes. Uh, one of them was polished concrete. Uh, different types of equipment. We partnered with a equipment manufacturer who also showed up and was part of the training. So we went through multiple different finishes. This is a training. Um, I think that's Qatar. Um, yeah. I was not Qatar. present at that. Yeah, Ronnie was there. Once again, another example of uh, product training to a group prior to a large installation, um, showing them exactly how to install the products that they're going to use prior to the installation. Another part of this, Ronnie, correct me if I'm wrong, was that you actually then, um, or, or there were additional uh, manpower was provided for that project when they actually did the work. That is correct? Yes. Correct, correct. So yeah. other than the right. manpower, similar to Vietnam. So in, in some cases, there will be instances where uh, one-time training, even though it's a few days, would not be enough. So we've actually provided manpower services. So we have... Uh, provided the training, uh, not just training, but manpower services, no? So that was true in Qatar, Vietnam, and a few other Asian countries. Right, which is, uh, once again, a little different than what uh, other opportunities might present. Um, the previous slide was another uh, uh, program that we offer, and that is if you need actual engineering or architectural services. So this would be more education in a classroom setting or a corporate setting. So if you're looking for engineering services or uh, marketing support, um, helping to sell or project to uh, an owner, this is something that we can come in um, in a professional or an inside presentation. Uh, we can offer that service as well. So it's not just the manpower and training, but it's like a full, uh, like a one-stop consulting services for anything decorative concrete, right, Chris? Right. So the different levels that we offer of manpower um, from one side to the next is we can start with providing uh, crew leaders and project managers. So we have the ability of sourcing experts from around the world who can come in and lead an entire crew for a project. 
um, ranging anywhere from a few weeks up to six months to a year. Yeah. Um, and then we also can uh, establish site managers and then provide an entire crew who actually does the installation. So there is no set menu. It's really working with the client uh, in regards to what they're looking for. Um, do you need one person to manage your crew or do you need the manager, um, the project manager, all the way down to the entire crew? So these are uh, services that DCTS can provide. Yeah, so so uh, to add uh, two, two points to Chris, uh, is number one, uh, so we've actually added, uh, provided manpower for at least three or four countries already. Uh, actual manpower is like actual installers. So you have here people from Vietnam. I think we have four people that we have provided uh, for our partners there. Uh, also in Qatar, we had three or four workers. And previously, we also helped Turkey. And uh, like years ago, uh, we've also b b brought people or we, we sent people uh, to other parts of uh, Middle East, uh, Bahrain. So, uh, and I'll speak a bit of in Tagalog, no? So, uh, yeah. So, itong mga trabaho natin, hindi lang tayo nagbibigay ng gift of knowledge, but gift of work or livelihood, no? So, pwede kayo, no? Lahat ng mga nakikinig dito or, or yung mga makikinig in the future, no? Uh, yung ginagawa nating serbisyo uh, through Decorative Concrete Asia, uh, will be a perfect channel through the company that we have created. So, iulitin ko, let me repeat. Chris and I has partnered together to create another company named Decorative Concrete Ta Training Services or DCTS. And you can learn more about it. I think marami na tayo na ipaliwanag. Uh, ang pangalan ng website is uh, learndecocrete.com, right Chris? So, www.learndecocrete.com and we will write it down later. Uh, para malaman nyo and eto kayo kung kayo yung mga manpower na gusto nyo magtrabaho di ba mayigit apat na bansa and recently just recently not just on the manpower level for the foreman we just had someone sent to China for Universal Studio Project for the last I think 5-6 months okay we had someone from Singapore become not just a, a, a finisher but a field art director no uh, he is with us, so he's just finishing his tent, uh, end of the year. So we provide a full range of services, no? So, to, para in, in Tagalog ulit, hindi lang gift of knowledge, but trabaho. So, pag pinagbuti niyo yung trabaho ninyo sa mga nakikinig dito ng mga installer, mga mason, send mo lang sa akin, no? Send nyo sa akin yung inyong mga resume, mga biodata, i-ready niyo yung mga passport nyo, and as soon as the pandemic is ending, in fact, we were supposed to send six people eh, during, uh, but however, there was a pandemic and travel was restricted. Otherwise, we, we would have sent six people to China for the Universal Studio Project. No, But anyway, there will be a continuing opportunity for us. No, So Chris and I are working together with this company to ensure that we provide livelihood, not just to the people here in the Philippines, but anywhere across Asia. Because I believe there's a lot of potential here and we can provide uh, manpower services to other countries or to any developers projects that will need our services no yeah i think i just summarized what you just said chris yeah no it's perfect yeah okay yeah so uh, thank you chris uh this is the last slide so uh, uh john is quiet on my side because He's busy <laughs> i have a point to make. <laughs> okay so you can have what's your... for what's for dinner Okay. Finished. Dinner was nice. Chicken. Okay. Uh, he's having his dinner. He's now ready to have his uh, dessert. Dessert. You can get your water. bread and coffee. <laughs> a second cup. Coffee okay. and creme brulee. Okay. Right. Yeah. Again, thank you, Chris. Uh, I would have loved you to join us here. I just sent pictures. <laughs> yeah. It's no someday soon. Hopefully, looks like the vaccine is coming, and uh, we'll get through this. And I look forward to being able to travel again and yes. see everybody in person. So we'll get there. Okay. It just takes yeah, some time. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to Chris coming back again here in Asia sometime next year, hopefully with uh, sometime if Albert is listening in Indonesia, right? Chris? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We owe Albert a visit. I am, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing uh, Indonesia. So that's first on the list. Okay. So yeah. And some mga installers dito or any architect or developer, Chris will, as, as soon as we are cleared to travel and we can set a schedule, 
we have a planned training uh, with one of our partners in Indonesia, Albert Injo, uh, who is, I think, listening right now. So we will inform everyone and maybe we can do a side trip or another training for anyone interested to see Chris in action. Okay. Yeah, you know, I uh, I also saw something that uh, Albert's a tennis player, so I'm a tennis player, so I'm going to bring my tennis racket when I come ah. and visit. So. Okay. Yeah. Tony's so, a golf player. No, so I'm just a diver. I just learned <laughs> scuba diving just last week. Right. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, Indonesia, a, a lot of nice dive sites. Yep. I uh, actually started to do the same thing, so I need to get mine finished, and that way we we can go together. You did okay. it the last time we were in Subic Bay, didn't you, Chris? Yeah. Uh, but that was just the uh, the the test dive. I'm actually going to get certified, dive. like Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So a lot of things to look forward to, other than holding our trowels. We'll get our wetsuit ready and uh, go dive. Okay. <laughs> I'll drive. Good. <laughs>